Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Disney Legacy. We are here at the casino with Prince Charming and his new wife, Cinderella Charming. <laughs> I like the new name. I love it. Okay, anyways. <laughs> um, I'm going to get her and him to go down and gamble. Gamble. Um, I think I need a little... Ooh. She's pregnant. Um, I think I made a statement of how long they were going to gamble for. I think I said like two pulls or something like that. I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to go with two pulls. And when they're done with the two pulls, then we will move on with life and uh, head back to the good old times of the household with all the animals. Or so go someplace else. <laughs> I won't kid. All right. So here we go. Go ahead and pull your lever. Do, 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 do. Okay. This music is kids' music, I do believe, yes. Thank goodness she's making noise to cover up the music. Did you win? Alright, so let's see. She is not doing very well, is she? I'm going to let her go until she gets nauseous. And then when she's done getting sick, we'll make Charming stop. and Or Prince Charming stop. And then we'll head on out and we'll go... Um, let's see. Maybe we'll go out to dinner or something. Or we could blow bubbles. I'm going to blow bubbles. If someone asked me if I wanted to blow bubbles on my honeymoon, I would be like... Do I look five to you? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Okay. I don't want them to win too much money, guys. So they kind of are supposed to be rich, right? Because he's supposed to be rich. He just hit a jackpot. Is she going to get sick? Seriously? Oh. I was going to say. He has got a hot slot machine. Whoop whoop. Ooh, whippy. And we need to get gifts. He is on a roll, is he not? Alright, let's make him stop. Alright. Oh my goodness, that is too loud. Alright, let's change the volume to low. Okay, it's already there. Skip this forward all right so she got 180 he got 5446 simoleons so that's pretty good all right so we need to wait for her do you have the guitar in your inventory why don't you just go ahead and play this alone just waiting for her when she's done let's have her come back over here are we trying for twins and triplets or something Oh, goodness. Did I do this on purpose or did I do this on accident? Please tell me it was an accident and I'm not, like, testing myself here. <laughs> Prince Charming just enjoyed strumming on the guitar at the park. Yay! Good job, Charming. Okay. Chris Lauder has been renewing his affections towards partner Lola Lauder. Ooh. All right. Let's go ahead and... All right, what do I need to do? I need to get her to start collecting collecting some mild pets, but I don't really know exactly where they would be. So we'll have to wait and see. Hold on, I think I got something in my headphones. Cause it's like, I thought it tickled my ear, but I don't know, could have been just me. All right, anyways, so she's here. So we're gonna get him to stop. And we're going to ask her out on a date. Is there anything else that she needs to do before we, like, move on to the next generation? Um. Let's see. Get married and have kids is really all it says. So, I think we're only going to get her pregnant once. I think that's what we'll do. So, that's fine with me, actually. 
Constance Lopez and Carlos Lopez have announced they are expecting a baby. All right. They sure make a lovely couple. John Burb and Jennifer Burb continue to be inseparable. <laughs> Sounds like they're married. So I would hope they would be madly in love. I love it when Sims that aren't like my Sims are like madly in love. And you like go out on the streets and you like see them like making out. It makes my heart so happy. Who's that lady? Who is this person? Enrique Barros. Alright. I'd love to hang out. Hey, we could go swimming or just have a nice long chat. Alright, let's go swimming. That sounds like a good fun time. Where is the public pool? We could actually go here, which is the uh, mall. Um, but there's got to be a public pool, isn't there? I guess there doesn't have to be. Yeah, right here. So let's take her to the pool. Let's visit this lot with our date. Maybe there will be like an outdoor grill or something over there that we can use to cook our din din ski. Alright, he just looked up his nerve and asked Cinderella Charming on a date. Yeah, well, it is your wife. You don't have to work up your nerve for that, do you? Like, wife, um, I've been thinking about this for days now, and I was wondering if you would like to go out on a date. No. You just walk up to him and say, hey, would you like to go out tonight? It's not really working up the nerve, I don't think. Not in my mind, anyways. What's wrong with this poor dog? I'm just over here blibble blabbling, and this poor dog is like, I'm dying! I got fleas! Well, you'll be okay. All you need to do is destroy something. Don't destroy the furniture, please. Do it on a toy, and you'll be good. What are you doing? No, don't destroy the newspaper. Dogs. What can I tell you? I don't want to go home because I want to focus on these guys. It's their honeymoon. I wanted them to have a good night, but where the heck is Cinderella? Oh. <laughs> I say where the heck Cinderella and she pops in the car. She's like, don't you start with me, girlfriend. I'm right here. Oh, I've really had <laughs> quite the mood lately. My videos have even been cracking me up at what I've been saying sometimes, so that's, that's got to say something, right? Yeah, that I'm a freak. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> Anyways, you brought your baby to the pool. Please don't drown it. <laughs> Please do not drown your baby. Swim here with your date. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Oh yeah, look, there is little uh, picnic things over there, so we could serve dinner when we're ready. But I think for right now, I think they're pretty okay. I don't think, like, you know, they're too upset with each other or feel like they need to uh, grab a bite to eat quite yet. They're getting there, but not quite yet. She is nauseous again, though. The baby's crying. Take care of the darned baby, Jennifer. Carlo is hungry. Who's this baby? Or girl? I mean. Oh, it's another burb. It's Lucy. Lucy burb. <laughs> Alright guys, jump on in there. Get your dip on. If you get it. <laughs> Take a dip in the pool. Get your dip on. Alright. Speeding you guys up. And he's like, alright, I'll get in. Oh, she's not feeling too good, guys. Well, then just puke on the floor. We don't care. Okay. So climb on in there. Show him show your nice bathing suits. He just went swimming. She's a young adult still, right? Yeah. She's still a young adult. She's got 23 days. You know how many days he has until he ages up until an adult? Nine. Isn't that crazy? He's so much older than she is. Crazy. Crazy pants. Alright. Aw, I like that little bathing suit. It's not really a royal bathing suit, I wouldn't per se, but it's cute. Alright, let's have a, let's splash each other. We are on a date. So splash him. Splash him and then have a hold your breath contest. I cannot believe we did this to ourselves. What were we thinking? I must have lost my freaking mind. I really only want her to be pregnant once. She will live in the lamp of luxury while she's pregnant. Otherwise, she will not. Aww. 
Slash her back, dude. Be like, uh, excuse me, girlfriend. She's dropping some weight. What? <laughs> Sometimes I get that from my babies, too. They'll be like, I'm dropping weight. And I'm like, uh, you're just a baby. You don't really drop weight very much. And if you did, you'd probably die. Because you don't have much weight to drop. Alright, let's see. Who will win? Will it be Charming? Or will it be Cinderella? Come on, Cinderella! Whoop, whoop! I'll cheer her on. <gasps> she won! Yay! She's like, heck to the year. Oh, and they left her here. They took the baby and just left the little girl. Oh man, this is nasty weather. Okay, let's get out of here. It was nice while it lasted, but now it is it has come to a quick close. Alright, can we eat here? I don't think we can. Restaurant. Yeah, I think it closes at 11 though. So, I think we need to go to the cheaper one. Holy criminals. Criminos. Let's see. Eat here. Eat here with your date for 36 simoleons. Alright guys, I gotta go check on this dog. It's freaking me out. Like, what is wrong with you? What is going on? <sighs> Alright, you need to chew something. So come on in here and chew your little toy. What do you need? You need social, but you also need hunger. So let's get you to eat. Get you out of this one. Eat from your bowl. And you need to come down here. I'm going to get you up. I want you to chat with this dog. Oh, look at the eyes. So cool. Yellow and green. I never, I don't think I ever realized that until now. If I did, I do apologize, but I just realized it again then. Because I don't remember her eyes being like that. So cool. All right, and Pumpkin is our oldest animal. She's got 18 days. Roxy has 16 Bruno has 18. Wait, why has Roxy got 16, but she has 18, and she's above Roxy? I'm really confused, guys. Alright, so you guys going? He's like, yeah, I guess. I'll go eat. That way, you know, she just gets a break from cooking dinner, and then we'll have him come home and take care of everything here because these poor animals are just like they are just not feeling the greatest without their owners feeling very lonely and unhappy so hopefully this will fix them to have them come home they're pretty much going to come home and go to bed because it's like almost midnight but okay we'll go with it we'll, f we'll go with the flow <laughs> alright so Bruno are you feeling better buddy? You got your your uh, destruction up. Poor Pom Pom is like dying over here to scratch something. But I'm trying to get her to socialize with this idiotic dog that won't socialize with her. <sighs> Roxy, what are you doing? Come on. Alright, Bruno. Chew that thing again. Chew it. The government has reviewed its reports on your household and has awarded Cinderella Charming with $102 in grant money. Or simoleons in grant money. Nice. How close is she? 232 from following the leader, the leader, the leader. Okay. Um, she's got only a little bit more and then she'll be at the next level in her career. I would really like to see what the next level is. I seem to not be able to get past this first soccer mom level. So hopefully I can get past it. Alright. You feeling better? You're feeling much better. That's good. Alright, and when you're done, I want you to eat out of your bowl. Pom Pom, when you're done socializing with this cat or dog. This cat. That's horrible. Go ahead and scratch. And then you can go ahead and eat from the bowl. And then you should be good. And then Bruno is going to need someone to talk with him when they get home. But I don't know. They are going to eat still. So took him forever to get out of the pool, must be. I don't know. The dogs and cats seem to be doing okay. 
What do you want to do? You want to bark at a pet. So we could bark at a pet. Yeah, see, he really needs some social as well. These two are going to be good because I've got them socializing with each other. So that should take care of all of their social need. But she's like dying for scratching, so unfortunately that's sad. Ebony Woods and Antoine Woods have gotten married. All right. They've moved in with Ebony. Okay. That's fine with me. If you guys would just get there and eat, please. Oh, you are eating. All right. Why don't you guys stay for dessert? That way you guys don't have to come home and cook at like 1 in the morning. Either time is flying or I don't know what's going on. All right. Let's see. You need to eat as well. Poor Pom Pom. Just dying over here. All right. Let's shut this off. Man, it's driving me nuts. Oh, I can't shut it off with you. But I can with you. It's just playing the same old tune over and over. It's like, ugh. Can't take it. All right, yeah. This poor dog needs some social. So someone's going to have to come home and take care of her. Him. Whatever. All right. I'm going to get you to come home with your wife. So go here with your date. You need to pee. Does she need anything? She needs to pee as well. Unfortunately. Are these lights on? There we go. Wow, that dog is stinky. I did not see that until now. Man, is he stinky. Alright, we need to get that fixed. Alright, this is the last time you guys are going to socialize. And then Bruno. You don't need to do that. I want you to talk with Roxy. Socialize. Bark at... Um, let's go ahead and try and nuzzle with her. And let's see. Sniff. It is a her, right? Because you're a male. Yeah, she's a female. Love is in the air for Dina Caliente and Dane Barr. Alright. Alright, are you guys going to do this? We can socialize again. You can go ahead and sniff her. And then I think you should be good. And then I think poor Roxy's going to need to eat. Alright. And you're taking care of scratching, which is good. Because you really need to get that taken care of. Someone needs to fill the bowls. So, you know what? I'm going to make you come around and fill all the bowls. When you get here, I'm going to let Cinderella use the bathroom first. Because that just seems like the proper thing to do. Let your wife take care of her needs. Then you take care of your needs. And then we all take care of our needs together. Oh, I mean. <laughs> I'm just being silly, guys. Alright. So I think they're just about here. Alright. So the bar household has a new cat named Carrie. If they say so. Alright, let's see. Go ahead and let's see. I wish they got like um, home sweet home moodlet or something. Like when they've been gone for like more than 24 hours. They get like the home sweet home moodlet. That would be cute, but they don't get that. But they don't get it. Alright, let's see. Go ahead and use the bathroom. And Prince, I want you to go ahead and fill all the bowls. So fill this one. Fill this one. Fill this one. And then you can use the bathroom as well. And then I'm going to let you both go to bed. Sleep. Cinderella. Go to sleep. No, don't relax. Sleep. Alright, perfect. Alright, Pom Pom. You're going to eat. Okay. And then you're going to need to go to the bathroom. Alright, he's not going to get her bowl done, but that's okay. 
As long as he gets the dogs, I think that'll be good. Because I don't think cats eat as fast either as the dogs do, but they may. I don't know. She just doesn't seem like she has that much she needs right now. Okay, so you guys are you guys are doing good. Are you guys going to nuzzle? Yeah, next is nuzzling. I'm so excited to see this. I want to see if it works. Because they're boy and girl. We could breed if we wanted. But... I don't know, where's Bruno going? He's like packing up some stuff. Is it gonna work? You guys are friends. Aw, you were best friends forever with uh, Lady Tremaine. Ooh, she's in a relationship. Let's see, is she in a relationship? No, is she in a relationship? No, but they all got a career too. She's in politics. She's in film. She is in the criminal career. It's too funny. Alright, I don't know what they're doing. He's already in bed. Cinderella's climbing in bed. She's like, I'm coming, honey. And the baby crib is already here for the baby. So that's good. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and cut out here since they're just sleeping and it's just the animals awake right now. And I will be back when they are getting up for their day. Be back in just a second. Alright, so Cinderella's finding out that she's actually pregnant. I can't wait to just tell Prince Charming and see how things go. Let's see if he's going to be an excited Baja. <laughs> I really hope he's excited. He should love Cinderella. By the way, it's 6.14 in the morning. She didn't get very much sleep done, but we'll get there. What are you doing? Go back to sleep. And you need to go to sleep as well. And you need to go to sleep. But I think you're doing that. No, you're peeing. Okay. Alright, is she going to figure out what to change into? She's like, I can't figure out a good pregnancy outfit. They're all hideous. We agree. We totally agree with you. I can't wait to see how the pregnancy outfits work for The Sims 4 because they said like all of the outfits that you wear as normal day, normal everyday wear, are pregnancy enabled. So whatever you're wearing, they shouldn't really change, right? I don't know how that works, but kind of hoping. She got the black one. They always get like the blue one for me, the blue with the pink underwear. Anyways, they always seem to get that or the Christmas one. Which I thought it would be funny if she got the Christmas one. Anyway, she gets two work days off as maternity leave. She has open work hours though. And she's already got 88 simoleons today. Crazy. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and cut out here again. And I'll be back when the humans this time are actually getting up for their day. Okay, so Prince Charming's getting up. And he is fully slept. He's all excited for his day. And we're going to get him first to the bathroom because he really needs to go. And then he's going to take a shower just to take care of that, you know, stinkiness that he's got going on. Got going on. And then we're going to let him play the guitar, I think, because we're going to wait for Cinderella to get up to cook breakfast. Because <laughs> that's the first thing I have her doing. And then I'm going to get her to clean the house because I do want her to finish getting that promotion. So that'd be great. Great. Alright, so he is good to go. Oh, good zone. He wants to read a pregnancy book. Ooh, let's do that want to do that and he wants to have a girl yes all right does she want to have anything buy a rocking chair <gasps> she wants to have a boy okay um a boy okay then she wants a pillow fight with her husband she wants to be friend friends with roxy and she wants to catch a bird we really need to start working on her life and wish a little bit, but I figured once she got through the baby process and raised them to children, then we could focus more on her life and wish because she's still got plenty of time. Alright, she wants to read a pregnancy book. I want her to do that as well. So maybe we'll get them to do that today. Alright, I'm going to have you go here so you don't come in here when you're going to play the guitar. Because I really don't want him to play it in here and wake her up because she is pregnant. Which I already showed you guys that she found out in the middle of the night, but um... She needs her beauty sleep, so we're going to let her get as much sleep as she can today while the baby's not here, <laughs> and she's barely pregnant. Um, 
and then when things get a little bit more hectic, she'll be a little more well rested, hopefully. So please do not come in here with that guitar. Babies is the only word Mary Sue Pleasant and Daniel Pleasant could say when asked why they were beaming. Apparently there's a new bundle of joy in the future. Okay, he's going to play in the hallway. That's fine. He can play in the hallway all he wants. Just don't play in this room. And then um, Bruno's up, but he's downstairs. He's taking care of himself, I do believe. Um, he needs to pee. So let's get him to pee. I ha I've been having him pee right here because it's pretty close to the front door. So they don't have to walk a trillion miles. And, you know, it seems like a pretty good place. And not many people are going to walk right next to the house. So, to me, it seems like a better uh, better place to have them go. All right. The rocking lifestyle of the guitar is often heroic. Gifted musicians can move both and entertain an audience with the song. Has Prince found his muse? Yes, he has. It's called his wife. Hello, Cinderella is his muse. All right, and it says his carpool is coming in an hour, but that's a lie because I think he's still got like four days off or something, three days off. Pretty much Cinderella's whole pregnancy, he's going to be home with us. How fun. You want to buy a high chair? We could probably buy a high chair. I don't think there is a high chair, is there? No, there's not. So we could do that. And I do want you to also go ahead and fill this bowl because I think it's totally empty now and we need to get it filled. Um... I was going to look at something. Oh, I wanted to look at bookshelves. I know there's one right here. Let's see. I want to see if there's any baby books in here. Sometimes you're lucky and you'll get, like, the baby book at your house. So I was just looking, but I don't think so. I think we're going to have to go to the library for this, which is fine. I don't have a problem with going to the library to read the pregnancy books. I really don't. We could also buy it if we wanted to, but this is going to be all our only pregnancy, so... It'd just be best for us just to go to the library and get it done. Oh, yeah, I forgot this is up here. <laughs> I like it. I like that they could come up here and just relax. You know, just have a good old time. All right, it is 1.52, Cinderella. Do you ever plan to get out of bed? I mean, come on, seriously. It's time to get up. And we're not even going to serve breakfast now. We're just going to eat the leftovers. How about that? So let's stop doing this. And just come eat ratatouille. And then, Cinderella, do you need to use the bathroom? Not really. So then when you're done eating, let's go ahead and clean the house. Just because her whole thing is cleaning. So she's already up to 100 simoleons. I don't even know how. Please don't even ask me. Please do not ask me. All right, Bruno, why don't you just go here for a second? Because I want you to, um, I want you to chat with Roxy some more. I think that would be cute. Especially because it helps both your social. Actually, let's chat with Pom Pom because Pom Pom needs it. So, Pom Pom, stop. Come chat with uh, Bruno. Socialize and let's see. Let's just socialize between the two of you. We'll do it like five times. That should be good, I would think. That way they're not socializing like all day long. All right, I'm gonna speed them up through the process of eating. Look at her in her pregnancy clothes. That's real appropriate with this huge window here, isn't it? So appropriate. Is it bad? Well then don't eat it, you freaks. They eat it anyways, they don't care. All right, I'm gonna have them go to the li I'm gonna have him go to the library when he's done. He's gonna go read the pregnancy book. Let's see. That way we can find it before she wants to go read it. What happened to the bridge? Did oh, there it is. I was like, how the heck are they gonna get across there? The bridge is missing, but it's not. Don't worry, guys. They can get off of their island. Their little island. Here it is. The community center has a library book on it. All right, let's see. I'm just going to turn them back on. Alright. Oh, wow. Look at this. It's got painting easels in here. It's got the um, sketching tables. It's got all of the guitars and everything over here. So you could pretty much have your own band. It's got sculpting benches, the inventing benches. 
It's got, you know, chairs where they could sit and watch. It's got the showers and the bathrooms. My goodness. And what's this? A food register? Oh, my goodness. I'm in love. Look at this. You've got everything you pretty much need in here. They've even got, like, the, um, the bookshelves here so you can read. I love it. Do they have the proper bookshelves for, like, the, the, um... Skill books. Is this it? No. Okay. That's the only thing that worries me is they for nope, they're right here. Never mind. Don't worry. They're in this one right here. Alright, let's see. No. Uh oh. There may not be a baby book here. I don't really know. Hmm. <gasps> there it is. Don't you dare even take my book. Is she taking my book? She's got to be that close to see. Baby. Oh, yeah. Cassandra is now with um, Don Lothario. Isn't that funny? I never envisioned him. And they have a kid together, too. She, he, she just gave birth. That's really crazy in my eyes. I never saw them getting together. Alright. She's cleaning up the house. Though she is nauseous. But she is working. Why did it go down? See, I don't get that. Hmm. Weird. Hopefully cleaning the house will get her to the point where she can actually get money for today. As long as she keeps getting money, that's all I care about. Because it'll, this will keep going down. Alright, so he's here at the library. Let's, let's read that book. And then I will send you probably on your way. I don't know. If Cinderella wants to, she could come down here and she's done cleaning the house. That would be nice. And then these guys should be fine because I have them talking and stuff. So they should be able to take care of them little selves. Them little selves. Alright, what do you need? Oh, come on. Seriously? We just grabbed the book. And now he's not going to put it away, so someone else is going to pick it up. I would be really angry. Can you read this? Alright, hopefully he doesn't take too long at the bathroom. And she's not getting sick yet, is she? No. Alright, so she is getting some money, so that's good. I'm going to speed them up. All right, she needs to continue to clean the house. I think she's going to, because see, this is still here. So she'll still continue. Oh, jump into Hossafats. The music's too loud. Where is the music? Right here. Let's turn it down to low. That's much better. I can still hear it, but I bet you guys can't barely even hear that, so I'm not too worried. Alright, let's see. John Burb has been recently stealing a peck on the cheek from Jennifer Burb. Sounds like they're in love, so I'm going to leave it be. What's this? No, don't answer your phone, because when you're done, I'm going to probably have you come here. But I don't know, it's getting pretty late to be coming to the library. But I was thinking, since he's in such a good mood, we could get him to actually play the guitar. And I don't know if he can play for tips yet, but we could try, maybe. No, he I don't think he can. But he could play it and let, like, he would gain relationships with people, and that would be nice. So we could actually start to meet some people. But I think he's going to need to go to the bathroom. Is he going to need to go to the bathroom? Kind of. But since the Ratatouille's dead... Dead. Since the ratatouille is bad, we could go ahead and eat here. He was paid 144 simoleons for personal time off. Did he read that? Must be. All right, let's get him to use the bathroom. I'm hoping this is the right side. I just got something in my eye, guys, so please forgive me. I can't look at the screen. There we go. I think it's better. All right, and then she's going to come over here when she's done. What are you doing? You're brushing the dog. Alright, I guess. If you want to do that, you go ahead. 
I should probably just get you to cook something then if you're just going to stay at home. Man, you need the bathroom though. Let's get you to the bathroom quickly before you brush the dog. No offense. But this is pretty important. So let's go ahead and use this thing. And then why don't you serve up something? Serve up some dinner. Serve up some... Mm, why don't you just do some quick autumn salad? That way you're not like, you know, doing too much. And he just finished reading the pregnancy book, so that's good. Though she hasn't even announced to him that she's pregnant, so that's kind of silly. But that's alright, whatever. Alright, and then... I should probably get him to come home. But I want him to play the guitar at the park, so I'm going to let him play alone. And she's just going to eat... Is she even hungry? She's not even really that hungry. She could probably bathe Roxy, because I think Roxy's stinky. I don't know, though. Alright, Roxy, you need to pee here, please. Bruno, you need to chew this. Pom Pom, you need to eat. Look at me getting everyone taken care of in like a minute. Alright, Prince Charming, you're just playing the guitar, which is fine. Um... And then we'll get you to use the bathroom when you get home, I guess. Because that was probably the wrong bathroom, so. Whatever. I tried. I tried. Alright, so go ahead and use that. And then you should be pretty okay. Bella Goth and Kurt Klein appear to have taken their relationship to the next level and are expecting a child after experiencing what appears to be an unfortunate software failure. <laughs> too funny. Alright. So she's going to make up some salad. I think we're going to get him to head home now because it is like 1030 and he should be here to eat at least. Alright. There's lots going on in the town. My little schnooky wookums. Yes, I love you so much, commented Bella Cuff. And I love you, my dearest, was Kurt Klein's reply. Those two were just so into each other the other day it was virtually sickening it's pretty sickening they have moved in together now and I think they're married no Bella and Georgie Goth moved in I don't even know who Georgie Goth is my son just had a kid then they autonomously risky woohooed and had twins sounds like your house is about to get full <laughs> Love when Sims do things on their own. That was my crazy household. Okay, you need to pee. Please go upstairs and pee. Before you pee on yourself. What are you doing? Eating off the floor. What are you eating? I don't know, guys. That's really weird. Alright, come up here and use the bathroom. You ain't got time to eat off the floor. You ain't got time. That makes a lot of sense, don't it? You know it does. Alright, you chew this. What do you need? You need to eat. Let's get you to eat. He's like in bed already. Where is the dog? Lynn Spencer and Anastasia Tremaine. The new couple were out in the town recently, arm in arm, enjoying each other's company. Ooh. Fancy. Alright. So it looks like people are having babies left and right. The government has reviewed its reports on your household and has awarded Cinderella Charming with 123 simoleons in grant money. So we should be really close to our next promotion. <gasps> 109. If we do another day like today, we'll be fine. Alright. Call the household to the meal. He should come because he just finished in the bathroom. And then you guys are headed off to bed. Sorry, Cinderella, but that's your day, friend. Alright, and when you're done, put away the leftovers. Um, nope, not yet. Nope, not yet. Put away the leftovers. And then I'm going to get you upstairs, and I'm going to get you to bed. And she's already, like, pushing out her stomach. Seriously, you just found out you're pregnant. And then you can sleep. And Prince... When you're done eating, you go ahead and sleep as well, and that'll be good. Alright, pom-pom, 
seriously, go to the bathroom, please. Oh, stupid zombies. Alright, you're chewing that, but you're drained on energy. So we're going to get you to bed. So go ahead and sleep. Bruno. Dog. You drive me bonkericious. Alright, when you're done eating, let's get you to pee. Because you need to do that. Then you can chew this. And then you can go to bed. Which is right here. They have high free will. They're just not choosing to do any of this on their own. And you need to go to sleep when you're done using the pate. Oh, is that his favorite meal? It is. She made his favorite meal. How sweet of her. <laughs> She's like, what? It's your favorite meal? That's fantabulous, husband. I'm pregnant, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> and that's his response. Nibble derb. Clappy clappy hands. <laughs> Look at her in her little gown. It's so cute. Oh, she's getting a little tummy tums. So cute. I can't wait to see what their baby looks like. Can you imagine? <gasps> it's going to be so exciting. Okay, so we haven't really talked about the next generation. But if you guys don't know this LP and you don't know like the series behind what happens in each generation, each generation has its own Disney themed um, Sims. So this generation obviously was Cinderella. It's pretty obvious, I think. I'm just saying. If not, this generation was Cinderella. Um, the next generation is actually Toy Story. Um, I had mentioned, given you guys a clue to this in a couple episodes back. Um, so, um, as you know, in each generation it gets like a little story behind it or quote or whatever. It says, you've got a friend in me. And um, it says, no one believed that your toy was real, so how were you going to prove to them that you were in love? So our heir, our heiress, um, must have an imaginary friend doll. So we, that's the first thing we got to make sure it happens. And then we have to turn the doll into an imaginary friend. And then turn the imaginary friend into a human. And then we have to marry the human and have children with them. This is going to be so exciting because I've never actually done this, so I'm really excited to do this. And I know a lot of people are like, oh, I hate that toy doll. But for this one, it's only one child, really. Um, so if we have twins, only one has to do this with the toy. We're not going to have two imaginary friends walking around. It's only going to be one, whoever we choose to be the heir. So we'll find out when she has the babies if we have to choose or what's going to happen from there. But I'm really excited. I think it's going to be really fun. Look at that is really ow cinderella please <laughs> you're freaking me out no that's how the beds work i don't know if you guys know that but that's literally how the beds work like that's how their hands and stuff go it's creepy but it's really how it goes all right let's get you to sleep and bruno i think you're good enough to go to bed so that time can speed up a little bit and yeah so that's fun all right. Looks like some people are, you know, getting crazy in town. Anyways, so, yeah, so we're going to be doing Toy Story next. I'm so excited. So, if you guys want to, please leave some names below for the, toys, the toy and for the baby because we're going to need to name the baby as well. So, how exciting is this? I'm so excited. And if we have twins, leave names for the babies because um, leave at least three names. Leave, like, one girl, one boy at least for each, you know. And then we need names for the toy as well because we're going to have to name it. So this is going to be so exciting, guys. I'm so excited. I can't wait for the babies to get here or the baby or whatever. Um, all right, so I'm going to go ahead and cut out, and I will be back when they're getting up for their day. Be back in just a second. Okay, I know I just cut out, but this came up, and it says, Looks like Anastasia Tremaine and Spencer Lynn have been getting all hot and heavy for each other recently. Moving the relationship to a new level. All right, I'll be right back. Oh my goodness, seriously? And then I got this one. Poor Herman Mayfield appears to have finally pushed Lady Tremaine over the edge. With no love lost between them, they have declared each other enemies for life. She's crazy. Okay, guys, that is the end. I do, I do apologize for all these cutbacks in, but I want to let you guys know what's happening with them too. So I'll be back when they're getting up. Be back in just a second. Okay, Cinderella's getting up, and I have her just going in and taking care of her bathroom needs. Look at the baby bump. Oh, so cute. Um, well, I did have her taking care of the house. 
or her needs, but I guess she chose not to. I don't know what's going on with her. Anyways, let's see. Use, shower, clean house. Maybe she'll do it this time. I don't know. I think the baby bump is really cute. And we definitely need to get over today to read the book. So one or the other is going to win, or maybe both will win. But I kind of really want to have a boy, secretly. <laughs> but a girl would be precious as well. Um, but if we had boy-girl twins, that would be perfect. But then I would feel like, oh, which one am I going to choose for the heir? Because I get really like, you know, <laughs> if I choose wrong, you know, then life will not be perfect like I imagine it to be. But I'm sure it'll be perfect, and I'm going to let you guys choose, so that's going to be fun. Anyways, um, I am just rambling on now. Um, no, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to X out, wash her hands, but then I X out the wrong thing. Oh, goodness. All right, I'm going to let him take a bath, because he doesn't really need to do anything today. Um, he's going to work, after he takes his bath, we're just going to play his guitar. Pretty much, that's all he's going to work on, because he needs to do it for work. Um, and what level is he on? One! Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, gracious goodness. Alright, so, I think she made breakfast yesterday. Did she not? Let's see. No, she didn't. So, we could make breakfast, but they're not really extremely hungry, so I'm going to go with they just, you know, eat lunch, maybe. Autumn salad for lunch. Sounds good to me. All right, what do you need? You need to scratch something. Be startled. Why are you being startled? What's the matter? I have no idea. All right, go ahead and scratch. Don't be startled. Um, You need to eat. Man, are you hungry. All right, so eat from that. And then let's get you to chew this little toy. And then Bruno, for you, friend, you need to chew the toy. And then we'll get you to eat after that. Eat from this bowl. Dig from hole? No, no, we're not digging a hole. All right, so I think that's good. You want to read a pregnancy book again? No, you already did it. We need to buy you the baby high chair, though. So let's do the baby high chair now. It'll get him two wishes done, I think, because I think it's expensive enough where um, it's like price range where he wants to spend money enough to get that one wish done. So let's see. I kind of want to do this high chair, but I don't really know. Um, maybe we'll go with this because it kind of matches the theme of the kitchen. Orange and red. Do we want to go orange and red? I think we want to go orange and red. I don't really like it there, though. It doesn't really sit properly. I don't know. Weird. Weird. Um, there's not really any place for this, is there? Hmm. I may have to move this bowl. Um, let's put her bowl over here. How about that? She'll be the special kitty. Alright, and then let's put the high chair here. Perfect. There we go. I like it. I like the little red and orange. I think it's cute. And I think it could be for either gender as well. So that's, that's why I'm kind of going for that. Red and orange is a very neutral color in my eyes, so, yeah, I like it. Alright, so, yeah, he didn't buy anything worth a hundred simoleons. I really don't think we're going to read another pregnancy book. To be honest, I'm just being honest, guys, I really don't think we are. Um, but buying something worth a hundred simoleons, he also wants to enter a trivia contest, so we should do that tonight when he has, since he has a night off. And let's see, does she want to buy anything? She doesn't really want to buy anything at all. Do you guys want to buy anything? No. They do not want to buy anything. You want to be f come friend, be friends with Pepper Dreamer? We could. Um. Yeah, I really don't know, guys. I really don't see like any buy options coming up for them. So maybe when the next buy option comes up, we'll buy whatever it is. But. 
I'm not going to read another pregnancy book. He already read one. I think that's plenty. Um, there's only like two, so it's not even that big of a deal to read more. All right, let's pay those bills. 891 simoleons there. That's fine. Let's just get the house cleaned. Because it's pretty important for her career for her to do this. Holy Moses. That's good. Good start for her. Liking it. All right, and he is working on his career because he's b b building blah, 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 building this skill, which is one of the things he needs to do. So I'm just going to speed him up because there's not really much to watch, guys. Um, let's see. John Burb has been renewing his affections towards partner Jennifer Burb. Okay. I really don't want that to be too loud, so I'm, that's why I'm going downstairs. Um, let's see. When she's done, maybe she could make something up for everyone. It is only like 10.30 in the morning, isn't it? And I think she's just about done cleaning. Yeah, she's got to clean up whatever that is on the floor in there. She get everything. Oh, she's going to get the newspapers now. All right, that's fine. Did he just get the next skill? He totally did. He's up to guitar skill level two. All right, let's see how that puts his performance. Wow, look at that. He is one away from being like the top top notch so that's pretty good all right let's see nothing really too spectacular is happening okay she's done perfect so let's see what do we need to do we need to eat let's serve up some brunch let's serve up some peanut butter and jelly sounds pretty good so we'll let her do that Chris is now the father of a new baby girl Lola just gave birth to a baby girl named Leslie Good luck. She has some of the worst genetics. So your babies come out extremely messed up. So good luck to that child. Don't see it have anything good coming from it. Let's put it that way. All right, Cinderella, don't eat it without him, though. All right, let's call the household to the meal. So let's stop you from playing. And I'm going to let you all come down here. Oh, this is unacceptable. Pom-pom, get off the counter. You actually need to go eat, so why don't you go do that? Why don't you go eat from your bowl? Get off the counter right now. All right, Roxy. Roxy, come on, stop. Chew this. Bruno, you need to eat. These dogs and cats, they don't know what they're doing, do they? All right, and someone needs to give poor little uh, Pom Pom some attention. She's, like, dying for attention. So maybe we'll let Cinderella do it after she's done eating or something. Who knows? Who knows? The carpool is not coming for him. Oh, my goodness. Thing, stupid thing. All right, let's see. Put this away. And then we will clean this up. We will clean up all the plates on the lot. All right. So let's see. You're chewing that. You're coming in here to do what you need to do. All right. When you're done eating, let's go ahead and have you fill the bowl. Because that needs to be filled. And you might as well just fill them all while you got the chance. Just do it up. Do it up. All right, I really don't think she eats very much, but that's all right. That's A-OK -okay with me. All right. So, Cinderella, you are doing good in your work. I am proud of you. You're doing really well. Look at her. What the heck? <laughs> Things are going all crazy and wonky. <laughs> crazy. Um, all right. So she just needs to get 109. So she's doing pretty good. She's making me proud. You're making me a proud woman. All right. You're going to clean up your plate too. Look at you go. Look at you go. All right. And I'm hoping that if he doesn't clean up his, she'll clean it up. But... Someone needs to give poor Pom-Pom some attention, folks. <coughs> Alright. Why don't you give Pom-Pom some attention? Friendly. Socialize. I know I keep having the animals talk, but what are they meant for if they don't help each other out a little bit? Know what I mean? So that's where I'm going with this. Alright. Are you going to clean us up? Please tell me you're going to clean this up. Clean that up. Alright. And then I think we're going to have her head over to the library. 
because I want her to fin get that pregnancy book read. <sighs> and we should also pillow fight with uh, Prince Charming just to get that done. You want to learn the hunting skill. We could get that done as well. We could get Prince to teach you that if you want. Um, let's see. Roxy, are you going to socialize with this cat? I don't think you are, but I don't know. We'll see. Alright, don't worry about filling that bowl. Why don't you teach... Why don't you train him to hunt? Alright, and she needs to head to the library. There's so much going on, isn't there? Crazy times. Alright, let's head to the library and let's read that book. I'm hoping it's still on the same bookshelf. I'm hoping somebody put it back. That's what I'm hoping for, guys. And that bookshelf is over here, right? This bookshelf is the one. Let's read this. There you go. And I'm going to stick with him just because I know what she's going to do. We'll jump over with her in just a little bit when she gets over there. But right now I think she's pretty okay. Alright. It seems like these guys can't get to each other. And there's my alarm. I was kind of excited about the babies, but... It's best that the babies don't come in this episode just because um, I want you guys to give me some names for the babies and for the little imaginary friend doll. And then I think that'll be fun. Alright, why don't you go here? Pom Pom, go here. I want to make sure these guys start talking before I end this because when I come on, sometimes I'm oblivious to what's been going on. And I don't want to be like that. I want to make sure that she gets taken care of. So let's see. Friendly. Socialize. Come on. Alright. Socialize. Alright. So there we go. Should be putting up her social. And it is. Alright guys. I'm going to go ahead and end it here before the babies come. Let's check on Cinderella and see how she's doing. She is in the car on her way, and uh, when the babies come in the next episode, which is going to be definitely next episode, because she's, I think she's on her last day. Is she on her last day of the pregnancy? I think she is. Yeah, I think so. So, this will be her last day being pregnant, and then tomorrow shall be the day she gives birth, probably really early in the morning, too, while they're sleeping, so that's going to be really excited. But anyways, guys, if you guys like this, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. And please don't forget to leave the baby names below, girl and boy names. Try and think of more, like, royal names, like Prince Charming, you know, like that. Like, something kind of, like, royally. I don't know if that makes any sense. But something that is, like, really, like, I don't know how to explain it. Anyways, um, and then l please leave me names for the imaginary friend doll because we're going to have to rename it if we're going to marry it obviously we're not going to want it just to be like boinky or something <laughs> unless you guys want it to be that oh gosh um anyways and um yeah so i'm really excited and i can't wait to see what they're having i just am so ecstatic and i am excited to see if they're going to have like twins or triplets or just a single because we did that romantic massage which i don't even know why i did that i should have just stuck with one kid but that's fine anyways um so i will talk to you guys in the next one Thanks so much for watching.